This is Dr. Lewis Clark again, and if you have neuropathy, or someone you know does, this right here is probably information you've never heard before. And I don't know why, because the literature is clear. The New England Journal of Medicine had published an article showing that this, what I'm about to talk to you about, this problem affects 55 different known diseases, okay? And neuropathy is one of those. So what is the most overlooked cause of neuropathy? I'm going to tell you it is the product or the ingredient that's found in wheat, which is called gluten. Gluten, if you haven't heard of it, okay, it is a protein, a gliadin protein, plus the other parts of the wheat kernel that are in, that make up the, the wheat kernel. And here's the thing, it can be extremely uh, cause, cause, cause effective and it can be aggravating to an existing neuropathy condition. So let me go through this with you, okay? So first of all, let me talk about two types of people. There are two types of people regarding gluten. Number one is the ones that should be off of gluten. And number two, the ones that must be off of gluten. Now, how do you know which one you're in? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you. There are two, two reasons that you should be off of gluten. And then there's another reason that if you have this, you must be off of it. So first of all, gluten is like all grains, is very high in omega-6 fatty acids. And so omega-6 fatty acids are inflammatory and omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. So you need a balance here. Should be no more than three to one. Now, I run a test called the brain span in our office, and I look at these ratios all the time, and I commonly, like this week, even yesterday, went over one that was 49 to 1. 49 omega-6s to 1 omega-3. Well, number one, omega-3s are deficient in our common diet, our standard diet, uh, standard American diet, which is very sad. But there's also way too many omega-6s. So omega-6s are inflammatory. More inflammation means more pain, more damage. The second thing is all grains affect your glucose levels. If you already have trouble regulating your glucose, grains are going to drive it up. Your breads and your pastas. Give you an example. Two slices of white bread have a higher glycemic index than a Snickers bar. And it's not even close. It's like 49 to 72. So big effect on your blood sugar, big effect on your inflammation for everybody. It's a good idea to, for everybody to avoid that. But there is a, another situation. There are some people that actually have an immune reaction to gluten. That means they have a food sensitivity. If you have a food sensitivity to gluten, that is going to lead to a condition known as leaky gut syndrome. Gluten will cause leaky gut. And once leaky gut is established, that means that things are getting out of your intestinal tract into your bloodstream that should, should not be there. Your immune system is going to become very active and eventually it can develop into an autoimmunity. And one of the most common tissues that are affected by autoimmunity is your nervous system tissue. So with that said, gluten consideration, if you're a neuropathy patient, you should consider whether this is a factor for you or not. And you probably never even thought about it or noticed that maybe your pain increases after you have certain types of food. That's a big indicator. And the best way to find out if this is an issue for you is to work with somebody that's certified. I'm a certified gluten practitioner and we have two certified health coaches on our team here to help you figure this out. And if you need to be off of it, how to get off of it and to get your neuropathy better. So this is one thing that's never considered and generally in neuropathy care, but it is a big factor. And for some people, it's absolutely critical. So hope this helps you. If you need our help, be sure to contact our office. I'll look forward to seeing you on our next series of videos. Until then, Live life well, and God bless.